Good morning everyone, it's Connor 500, professional gambler, on Friday morning, the weekend's almost here, thanks a lot for coming along. I did intend to do this video earlier, because I had a phone call come in at half ten from the Cat Adoption Centre, so I thought to myself, get the video out before half ten, and then the lady called me at ten past ten, which scuppered my plans, and I was on the phone for ages on the blower, I'm having to do show around my house, go through all this and that. We'll get through the bets today and then I'll go on about it a bit more at the end of the video. Yesterday, we just didn't get anything out of the first three legs. If we did, we would have made a slight profit on the day because the last two best legs, I mean, I know they only placed, but I'll say this, guys, anyone who stays on this channel for the next year won't regret it. If you're here now thinking, I'll do one more day's bets, maybe another one. If it doesn't go well, this isn't for me. Guys, in that case, you're probably better off leaving it now because this is a long-term game with big prices. And as soon as you set yourself up to say, oh, I can do one more day or two more days, you're likely to lose. Do you know what I mean? Not likely to lose, but if you're going to rest everything on one day, you're better off giving it a miss. But I will say that anyone who stays for a year will not regret it, I can guarantee you that. We've got five horses today, it's a lucky 31, a lovely little bet, I've just about three starred it. It's a nice bet to take us into the weekend. Keep your stakes low, okay? We're starting off at 4.55. Later on, absolutely late, I'm not doing this on purpose. We haven't had that many afternoon races lately. World famous, 12 to one. We've got to start off there. Nice fourth favorite, over at Curra, yeah, I'm more than happy with that, and I'm more than happy with the price. 12 to 1, world famous, over at Curra at 4.55. We've then got, remaining at Curra, Star Harbour. Star Harbour, 9 to 1 in the 6 o'clock Curra. Yeah, got to be in there. Nice handicap. It's not exceptional, but it's worth having a look around in. Um, we've got Sporty Gym, 11 to 8, I know. 6.55 Worcester. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. But I do understand the punters' logic when they say, oh, if you bet under 5 to 1, it's no good, it's not value. It's completely incorrect, but I do understand the logic. You've just got to think about it as two separate bets. You've got your win bet and you've got your place bet. You've got to think about it as two separate bets. I'll go into this more about this selection on Connor 500 on Sunday. But I can assure everyone here, it definitely deserves its place. Sporty Gym deserves its place. Um, I'm going to talk about that slightly more at the end of the video, but we've then got Verhoyen. Yeah, we're sticking Verhoyen in there at 8 to 1. Verhoyen in the 7 10 at the Curra. Got to be in there. Verhoyen 8 to 1, 7 10 Curra. And we're finishing off with what I believe, again, to be the best race of the day. I quite like it when the best race of the day is the last one. A lot of the time, anyway. 8 15 Curra. Sionak Eli. I give myself a 10 to 1 shot that I've pronounced that right. Sionak Ely, 9 to 1 in the 8.15 at Curra. If that wins, I'll make sure I know how to pronounce that. Um, Sionak Ely, 9 to 1, 8.15 Curra. That's your best race of the day. You've got a short favourite that you want to take on. Um, have a look around in the market. Have a look around in the bigger end of the market. If I was going to have an independent single on any race of the day, Get it on for this 8.15 at Curra. Get it on early. Get your bog value. Your best odds guaranteed value, once you look at it over a long time span, makes a huge difference. So that's the lucky 31 today. World famous, Star Harbour, Sporty Gym, Bahoyan and Sionak Eli. We've got two 50 each way singles, both in this 8.15 Curra. Sionak Eli again, 9 to 1. And I've done it. Another one on Hurricane Cliff. Um, I've dug around... I mean, you could dig around a lot a lot bigger, but I've gone for a nice price. I'm happy with the price, Hurricane Cliff. I've just done them as singles. But I'll be honest with you, ideally, I'd double them up with Sporty Gym, 11 to 8. I know, I would do that all day long. Double them singles up with Sporty Gym. The reason I haven't done that for the channel, because Sporty Gym's 11 to 8, a lot of people aren't going to see the value there. And if it did lose which I would accept as just standard variance, 
It's just going to be, I'm, I've just decided to go the singles on, in the cover race. But if I was going to have another horse of it, it would have been Sporty Jim, 11 to 8. Yeah, the Cat Adoption Centre, they phoned me this morning because I spoke to them the other day. I phoned them up on the blower. I was like, look, I need a cat, but I'm happy to take a cat that's perhaps a bit less adoptable because I don't want to just take, you know, a cat that's going to get adopted anyway. I, I said, I stay indoors a lot, ideally an indoor cat, but I can, I can take, take them out. Anyway, they said, right, it sounds like Kathy is right up your street. She's 17, which I know is a very old, geriatric to, 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 to adopt a cat. But I was speaking to my friend about it, right? I spoke to my friend, I said, I don't know what to do. This cat's quite old, got arthritis and all that, but not on medication. My friend said, Connie, you can't go adopting half dead cats. And that's what he said. And that made me think, do you know what? That cat's not half dead. We've all got some life in us. There's nothing wrong with getting old. I'm not. You know, it made me change. It made me even more determined because I didn't want people going into the adoption centre, finding out and thinking, "Oh no, that's just a half dead cat that no one wants. No one wants Kathy. You know what? Connor Five Hundred wants Kathy. So anyway, I've spoke on the blower today with them, and then I spoke on the phone briefly to the foster family. It's a new Connor Five Hundred cat, Kathy. Don't let anyone tell you you get too old and no one wants you because you, you're always, you're always a, a treasure for someone. You're never too old. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because we're late for the video, but that's why I was late this morning. I was going through the, through the adoption paperwork. Have a lovely day. Guys, we need a bit of luck today, but like I said, if you stick around for a year from now, no one will regret it. There will not be anyone who stays from now till next year that regrets it. Except, I suppose, the most severe chasers. That if you don't chase and you follow for a year, you won't regret it. We'll leave it at that. Connor 500 out. I hope you have a lovely day going into the weekend. I appreciate all your support. I think I've just spat everywhere. So I'm just going to end it at that. Have a lovely day.